discuss about the genetic disorders okay so what is the genetic disorder genetic disorder are the uh, some uh, that disorder which is occur in the um, due to the changes in either in the genes or in the chromosome okay so that is called the genetic uh, disorder means uh, suppose some changes occur in our uh, gene level or in the chromosomal level that is called as the due to that certain uh, means symptoms will occur so that is called the genetic disorder okay so this genetic disorder is mainly categorized into two um, uh, uh, class first one is the mendelian disorder another one is the chromosomal disorder okay so Uh, like in uh, case of mendelian disorder there is uh, different examples hemophilia uh, like color blindness uh, thalassemia sickle cell anemia and likewise in chromosomal disorder the most common is the down syndrome klein felter syndrome and turner syndrome okay so uh, what is the difference between mendelian disorder and the chromosomal disorder so um, uh, in case of the mendelian disorder it is uh, happen because of the changes or uh, mutation in a single gene level okay when a single gene has been changed then it is co- uh, comes under the mendelian disorder whereas uh, when the changes uh, occur in the uh, changes or the abnormal arrangement occur in one or more chromosome level okay so then it is called as the chromosomal disorder right like as you know that suppose this is the chromosome okay and in one chromosome they, uh, there is uh, many locus can occur okay and each locus denoted to the um, each characteristic or each gene right uh, suppose here um, each locus suppose this is the locus and uh, here it it will be having uh, either uh, capital a and uh, small a capital a and capital a uh, like that arrangement can be found okay so when the complete uh, chromosome um, uh, will um, uh, like uh, change or the uh, arrangement will change or some mutation will happen in the complete chromosome level then it is called as the uh, chromosome disorder whereas the if uh, suppose some changes occur in the only gene level single gene level then it is called as the mendelian disorder okay so this mendelian disorder generally follows the principle of uh, mendels in uh, mendels uh, principle of inheritance okay and uh, this uh, chromosomal disorder doesn't follow the mendels principle of inheritance okay and uh, this may be recessive or dominant in nature and the chromosomal disorder is always dominant in nature okay so suppose if uh, the um, Uh, like um, uh, because it is encountering uh, the complete chromosome right the complete uh, locus of the chromosome that's why it is always occur in dominant form whereas this uh, mendelian uh, disorder can occur either in the form of recessive as well as the dominant form okay like uh, in case of the mendelian disorder the example is hemophilia sickle cell anemia and in case of the chromosomal disorder that is the turner syndrome and down uh, down stream syndrome okay so the basic uh, um, difference between these two type of disorder is uh, it is occur on the gene level it is occur on the chromosomal disorder occur in the um, chromosome level okay so any changes or any arrangement happen in the chromosomal level then it is called as the chromosomal disorder and when uh, some alteration and mutation happen in single gene then it is called as the mendelian disorder okay so uh, mendelian disorder are the genetic disorder uh, which is caused at a single genetic locus okay and uh, it is uh, um, primarily due to the alteration in one gene or as a result of abnormality in the genome okay so it is uh, happen in the um, like gene level not the complete uh, chromosome level okay and uh, condition can be see um, this uh, like uh, if uh, suppose some offspring is showing the mendelian disorder so we can deduce the like uh, from where this uh, disorder uh, come from the offspring that we can deduce uh, through the history of um, history of that particular offspring family okay that is uh, we analyze through the pedigree um, tree okay so um, uh, yes the mendelian disorder you can identify like the what is the root cause of that particular disease okay and um, this genetic disorder are quite rare and may affect one person in every thousand or a million uh, person okay 
सो दिस इज द मेंडेलियन डिसऑर्डर सो देर इज फोर बेसिक टाइप ऑफ मेंडेलियन डिसऑर्डर फर्स्ट वन इज द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव एक्स लिंग डोमिनेंट एंड एक्स लिंग रिसेसिव ओके सो यू नो लाइक इन आवर बॉडी देर इज टू टाइप ऑफ सेल वन इज द ऑटोसोम सेल एंड अनदर वन इज द एक्स लिंग और सेक्स लिंग क्रोमोसोम इज देयर राइट सो ट्वेंटी टू पेयर्स आर द ऑटोसोम क्रोमोसोम एंड ओनली वन पेयर वेयर द जम लाइन सेल्स इज हैविंग दोज क्रोमोसोम दैट इज द आदर एक्स एक्स एंड एक्स वाई ओके सो दिस सेट ऑफ क्रोमोसोम इज कॉल्ड एज द थर्टी ट्वेंटी थर्ड पेयर ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम और द सेक्स सेक्स क्रोमोसोम ओके सो इन वॉट इज द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट वेन द अफेक्टेड जीन इज लोकेटेड ऑन ए ऑटोसोम ओके मीन्स आयदर ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी टू क्रोमोसोम वेन दिस जीन इज लोकेटेड देन द डिसऑर्डर गेट एक्सप्रेस इन बोथ द होमोजाइगस एंड हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन एंड दिस डिसऑर्डर इज कॉल्ड एज द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट ओके सो ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट द नेम सजेस्ट इट्स शुड अकर ओनली इन द डोमिनेंट फॉर्म नॉट इन द रिसेसिव फॉर्म राइट एंड वेन दिस जीन इज लिंक्ड विथ दिस फ्रॉम दिस ट्वेंटी टू सेट ऑफ द क्रोमोसोम देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट क्रोमोसोम एंड इट कैन ओनली बी मीन्स हाईलाइटेड वेन मीन्स इट इज प्रेजेंट एज ए डोमिनेंट सो वेन इट विल बी डोमिनेंट वेन इट इज प्रेजेंट आदर एज ए होमोजो होमोजाइगस डोमिनेंट और हेट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन ओके द अफेक्टेड पर्सन हैज एन अफेक्टेड पेरेंट एंड अकर इन एवरी जनरेशन ओके बिकॉज दिस इज द डोमिनेंट डोमिनेंट डिसऑर्डर दैट्स वाय एवरी जनरेशन विल बी हैविंग दैट पर्टिकुलर सिम्टम्स ओके सो दैट इज द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट डिसऑर्डर ओके देन सेकेंड वन इज द ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव ओके सो इट इज ऑल्सो लिंक्ड विद द ट्वेंटी टू पेयर ऑफ ऑटोसोम क्रोमोसोम एंड इट इज ओनली एक्सप्रेस वेन द कंडीशन इज हैविंग होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव ओके देन ओनली इफ द ऑस्प्रिंग इज हैविंग द होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव जीन देन ओनली दिस डिसऑर्डर विल अकर ओके बोथ पेरेंट्स ऑफ एन अफेक्टेड पर्सन आर आदर कैरियर और अफेक्टेड दमसेल्व ओके सो द सपोज फॉर द ऑस्प्रिंग शुड बी ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव द पेरेंट आदर शुड बी द अफेक्टेड पेरेंट और इट शुड बी द कैरियर okay then only the offspring will be uh, autosomal recessive um, happen okay how come like suppose uh, uh, the mother is having a uh, uh, recessive gene okay suppose this is the recessive gene and uh, the father is also having the recessive gene okay so it is saying uh, the father and mother both either having the affected वन और द और आदर इट बी द मीन्स कैरियर वन ओके सो इन दैट केस वॉट विल हैपन इज देन ओनली दफ द क्रॉस विल अकर ओके सो ट्वेंटी इन दिस सिनारी वॉट विल हैपन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ स्प्रिंग विल बी अफेक्टेड वन ओके सो मीन्स टू फिलफिल लाइक टू अकर द रिसेसिव डिसऑर्डर इन ऑस्प्रिंग द पेरेंट आइदर शुड बी द अफेक्टेड पेरेंट और शुड बी द लाइक कैरियर पेरेंट ओके सो दैट इज द ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव एंड द एग्जाम्पल आर द सिकल सेल एनेमिया फिनाइल एलकेप्टेन्यूरिया सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस एंड थेलेसिमिया ओके एंड द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट डिसीज इज द हंटिंग टन्स डिसीज ओके एंड दिस हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रोमिया इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द ऑटोसोमल डोमिनेंट दिस एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लाइक इन एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट कैन बी आज लाइक दिस थैलेसिमिया इज विच कैंड ऑफ डिसीज एंड दिस हाइपर कोलेस्ट्रीमिया इज वॉट कैंड ऑफ डिसीज सो लाइक दैट इट कैन बी आज सो वॉट एवर एग्जाम्पल यू विल फाइंड जस्ट रिमेंबर दोज एग्जाम्पल लाइक दोज एग्जाम्पल कम्स अंडर विच कैटेगरी ओके
then you are having the uh, x link dominant or sex link dominant so when the affected gene is located on the x uh, sex chromosome and the disorder get expressed in both homozygous as well as the heterozygous condition then it uh, the disorder is called as the x link dominant like autosomal dominant the x link dominant is all uh, should be found in either homozygous condition or heterozygous condition okay and because it is the um, like x linked uh, dominant disease that's why female are more frequently affected because in case of the um, uh, men uh, there is x and y okay so that's why um, uh, like half of the population will be having this um, uh, x and y gene so that's why uh, male is not that much affected female are more frequently affected because in case of female there is 2x right so that's why they are more affected in case of the x link dominant uh, gene okay and um, uh, females are more frequently affected but both males as well as female can be affected in one generation okay so suppose if your uh, parents is having homozygous or heterozygous condition then both male as well as the female can also be affected but uh, female will be more affected in um, in comparison to the male okay so the example of the x link dominant will be uh, hypophatemic um, rickettsia or vitamin d resistant rickettsia okay and uh, uh, yeah that ornithin transcarbamylase de deficiency is also comes under the sex link dominant uh, disorder okay and uh, the last one is the x link recessive that is the um, when the affected gene is located on the um, x chromosome and the disorder only expressed when the homozygous recessive condition occur okay so this disorder is called as the x linked recessive okay and uh, here the males are more frequently uh, affected um, and this affected males are present in every generation because the um, that particular x which is having the uh, like um, gene of this uh, uh, disorder um, passing in every generation right so that's why if parent male is affected then every um, like uh, generation uh, son will be uh, every time affected okay so the um, like uh, the example is hemophilia color blindness and muscular dystrophy okay so uh, like uh, the most of the um, uh, question occur comes from the uh, this recessive type of uh, uh, disorder either it will be like uh, autosomal recessive or um, from the uh, like uh, x linked recessive okay so just careful about these two type of uh, disorder and uh, apart from that uh, the dominant will be all if you uh, your parents is having homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant dominant in the sense if this character is present in one of the gene locus then uh, the offspring will be definitely affected okay but in case of the auto, uh, like recessive condition either it should be uh, like um, uh, it should be in case of the autosomal recessive it should be present in the homozygous recessive condition but in case of the x linked recessive if the mother is carrier and the father is like um, um, uh, means um, uh, affected one then the offspring will be uh, uh, affected okay so that thing you have to remember like how it is um, the genetic cross is happened so uh, like uh, as i told you hemophilia is one of the example of sex linked uh, recessive disease okay and uh, what happens in case of hemophilia it is also called as the royal disease okay so in this case a protein involved in the blood clotting factor is affected so uh, the blood clotting factor is absent in case of the hemophilia so the blood is continuously um, flowing okay so it is not getting clot so a simple cut result in non stop bleeding will happen and it is controlled by a pair of allele that is called as capital h and small h okay so um, uh, uh, this capital h de uh, denoting the dominant um, character and this small h de uh, denoting the um, like recessive character okay so here h is normal allele and h is responsible for the hemophilia because here uh, it is a recessive kind of disease so that's why small h will be um uh, responsible for this particular type of the disease okay 
so suppose if uh, if um, parents is having like this is the uh, um, female parent okay so this is the suppose female parent so if uh, in both the locus the capital s is present that uh, that means the female is normal okay and if it is uh, present um, the capital s is present in one uh, locus and another locus it is present um, uh, small h it means uh the um, female parent is heterozygous in nature or we can say like it is carrier in nature okay because it is carrying one um uh, hemophilic gene and once it uh, find um, once it find with um, like uh, uh, other hemophilic gene then it will uh, show the symptoms okay so she may transmit the disease to the son okay because son is not having another x it is on uh, sorry uh, like it is only having the single x okay so um, and here it is the y okay so when uh, this type of um, uh, male is uh, cross with this type of uh, uh, female then in the son uh, what will happen uh, x capital h and then x okay and uh, the another uh, sorry this will be y okay then only it will be male okay so um, the another will be again like um, x and y so 50% will be affected and 50% will be normal one okay because here capital h will come and in this x small h will come so this will be affected and this will be normal right so um if we, uh, if the mother will be heterozygous in nature like in case of the sex linked recessive then the um, son will be easily affected okay because uh, um, uh, daughter is having another x so it, uh, uh, it can be compensated like it uh, it will not easily affected because it is having extra x but in case of the son it is only having single x so when the um, uh, x gene um, go to the means son then it will be uh, it will show the affected symptoms okay and uh, here um, when fem uh, like daughter will be affected when both the like uh, um, uh, uh, this type of gene will occur like uh, xh and xh okay then only we can say like it is hemophilic female how it will happen when both the parents like um, either uh, the mother uh, should be carrier or the um, like homozygous uh, dominant uh, and the parents uh, like the uh, a father should be also affected uh, if the female uh, have to affect from the hemophilic in nature so then the um, um, father and mother both should be affected from the um, like um, hemophilic uh, disease okay so this is the hemophilic uh, disorder um, uh, genes okay where uh, both in both the locus uh, small h is there okay and uh, in case of normal male if uh, like here i have said you like uh, uh, in the case of x h when transmit to the son then it is normal when the uh, small h transmit from mother to um, uh, son then it is the hemophilic male okay so this is the cross of hemophilia like that uh, here the color blindness color blindness is another like sex linked recessive disorder due to the effect in either red or green cone of the eye so um, the person with, who is having the color blindness uh, they can't discriminate between the red and green color okay so it is due to the mutation in some uh, some genes in uh, sex chromosomes okay and it occurs in 8% of male and only 0.4% of female this is due to the genes are x linked okay so that's why the dominant um, um, do, uh, sex linked dominant um, disorder are more in female whereas the sex linked recessive disorder are more in the males male case okay so here you can better understand like how this um, uh, recessive um, is working okay so suppose uh, here one carrier um, mother is there and one carrier father is uh, um, when cross uh, sorry normal uh, man is cross then uh, what is the percentage of offspring okay so um, uh, carrier means it is having um, color blindness in one locus capital c and small c suppose 
दिस इज द स्मॉल सी ओके सो एंड दिस इज द नॉर्मल एक्स वाई ओके नॉर्मल एक्स वाई मेन सो वेन इट इज क्रॉस सो दिस एक्स विल क्रॉस विद दिस एक्स ओके सो इट विल बी इन बोथ द लोकस ऑफ द एक्स एक्स द गल विल बी नॉर्मल ओके देन दिस एक्स विल क्रॉस विथ दिस एक्स ओके सो हियर इट विल बी कैरियर बिकॉज दिस कैरियर लोकस इज क्रॉसिंग विद द नॉर्मल फादर एक्स ओके सो दैट्स वाई द ऑस्प्रिंग विल बी कैरियर ओके देन इन केस ऑफ द सन दिस एक्स विल क्रॉस विद दिस वाई देन नॉर्मल सन विल अकर एंड वेन दिस कैरियर एक्स विल क्रॉस विद दिस वाई देन द कलर ब्लाइंड सन विल अकर बिकॉज इट इज नॉट हैविंग एक्स्ट्रा एक्स टू कंपनसेट दिस दिस जिन विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द मदर ओके सो दैट्स वाई द वॉट इज द परसेंटेज हियर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज नॉर्मल एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट विल बी कलर ब्लाइंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट विल बी कैरियर ओके दिस इज द परसेंटेज लाइक वाइज हियर अनदर टाइप ऑफ क्रॉस इज देयर वेन द कैरियर वूमन क्रॉस विद द कलर ब्लाइंड मेन ओके सो कलर ब्लाइंड मेन मीन्स हियर एक्स इज इन केस ऑफ द मेन हियर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द कलर ब्लाइंड जीन ओके Uh, here it was the normal mane so that's why xy was the normal but in case of the color blind it is um, x is having the uh, gene of the color blind okay so uh, and carrier woman will be same like uh, capital c and in another x it is the small c okay so when this two type of um, uh, woman and men cross then this x will cross with the this x okay so capital c and small c will be carrier for this girl okay then another is the uh, small um, c here this this one okay this one cross with this one so this uh, this girl will be color blind because in both the locus now small c is there okay carrier means it is having uh, like it is carrying the disease but it is not showing the symptoms right because uh, the another x is compensating uh, to become it a uh, like become uh, to showing the uh, uh, affected uh, symptoms right so that's why it is carrier but when the both the locus is occupied by the um, this small c then it is um, getting color blind but in case of the sun what is happening it is only having the single x so when it comes from um, the mother like when the normal uh, capital c is coming then it is normal and when it is um, this small uh, c carrying x is coming to this sun then it is color blind okay this y is not uh, can't be compensating this x so that's why it is color blind okay so this is the like um, uh, two type of scenario here uh, how many uh, 50% offspring is color blind okay and 25% is uh, normal and uh, 25% is um carrier okay so that you have to remember normal allele is dominant capital c recessive allele is small c and uh, um, this small c is actually responsible for the color blindness and the son of a heterozygous woman has a 50% chance of being color blind okay so this type of statement by question can be also asked uh like uh, if suppose carrier woman is um, uh, crossing with color blind men then how much uh, means uh, what is the probability or what is the percentage of um, uh, like uh, son should be color blind like that it can be asked okay and a daughter will be color blind only when her mother is at least a carrier and her father is a color blind okay then only the um, uh, the daughter will be color blind as i told you like it is having two x so that's why if one x is coming from the mother which is um, uh, color blind but uh, the father is having normal x then it can't be uh, so the symptoms but when the father is affected as well as this um, uh, carrier gene is also coming to this uh, uh, girl then it will be color blind okay 
देन द सिकल सेल एनेमिया इट इज द ऑटोसोमल लिंक्ड रिसेसिव ट्रेट ओके एंड इट कैन बी इट इज द ऑटोसोमल ओके प्रीवियसली वॉट हैव सी वॉट वी हैव सीन इज दैट इज द सेक्स लिंक्ड रिसेसिव वन ओके इट इज द ऑटोसोमल रिसेसिव ट्रेट इट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू ऑफस्प्रिंग वेन बोथ द पार्टनर्स आर कैरियर ओके and um, means it will be um, heterozygous condition it can uh, there is two type of scenario either it can be um, hetero, both the parent will be heterozygous okay and uh, suppose this is sickle cell okay uh, here one parent and this is the another parents okay so like that okay so um, i this is the one case another case is both is uh, having the both the like um, gene is having the uh, sickle cell like uh, both the parent is uh, present in the recessive condition then also it will be autosomal linked recessive trait will uh, so okay so homozygous dominant will be normal here you can see that uh, both uh, no one, uh, no one is having the um, this uh, sickle cell uh, gene okay so then uh, it is homozygous dominant so it is normal heterozygous condition is either um, two carrier when will meet then one of the offspring will be having hbs hbs type of gene okay and homozygous recessive also will be affected one okay so that is the um, cross of sickle cell anemia what happens in this case of the sickle cell anemia the defect is caused by the substitution of glutamic acid by the valanin at the position 6 okay so this is the polypeptide chain of the uh, like um, um, beta globulin chain of hemoglobin okay the blood okay so blood carrier uh, protein is the hemoglobin okay so here uh, on the sixth position what is happening is this glutamic acid is changed in the valine position okay so that you also remember in some post, uh, like in some exams it has been asked like which position is um, uh, changes happen in case of the sickle cell anemia so it is the sixth position where the glutamic acid is changing to the valine, uh, valine. okay so that's why Uh, uh the um, like uh, this um, here you can see that the red blood cell is uh, getting uh, sickle cell type okay so that's why it uh, the oxygen carrying capacity of this particular um, type of cell is reduced because of this sickle cell cell okay and the second disease is the phenyl alkaptinuria here uh, it is a kind of metabolic disorder okay and uh, it is a autosomal recessive trait it is due to the mutation um, in the gene uh, of uh, phenyl alanine hydroxylase okay so this is a kind of enzyme uh, and uh, it is um, happened due to the mutation in the gene which is encoding this particular enzyme or this particular protein okay and this enzyme is actually converting this phenyl alanine to uh, phenyl pyruvic acid okay so when it is um, uh, mutated then in uh, this phen uh, phenyl pyruvic acid is um, uh, sorry here the phenyl alanine uh, hydroxylase uh, if uh, um, bond form then this phenyl alanine can't be converted into tyrosine okay so that um, that's why this phenyl alkaptinuria is uh, uh, occur and um, here uh, the phenyl pyruvic acid will not form okay and um, it will accumulate in the brain resulting in the mental uh, retardation and these are also excrete through urine because of the poor absorption of the kidney okay so suppose it is um, not uh, forming the phenyl pyruvic acid then it will um, either accumulate in the brain or it will um, um, like secreted through the urine because um, in this condition the kidney absorption uh, absorption will be very low okay so this is the uh, like autosomal uh, recessive uh, cross so suppose here uh, capital r small r capital r small r okay so this is the unaffected carrier here it is also unaffected carrier so when this two type of carrier um, cross then uh, here capital r will cross this capital r then both will be capital r in case of this person okay and it is unaffected in this case uh, the capital r will cross with this small r okay so this is the like um, carrier one okay so this is the carrier one because it is having one dominant and one recessive 
then second thing is this r is uh, cross with this r okay so then again it will be carrier okay because it is also having capital r or small r okay and uh, this small r is when crossing with this small r so then it is the um, affected um, affected uh, person because here both the um, gene is affected small r so that's why it is affected okay so this is all about the phenyl alkaptonuria now there is another disease that is the thalassemia it is uh, an autosomal linked recessive disorder and it is also related to the blood okay and uh, it is transmitted from uh, unaffected carrier parent to the offspring and um, uh, like here what is happening um, uh, thalassemia is a quantitative problem like uh, synthesis of few uh, globulin molecule whereas here uh, in case of the sickle cell anemia it is a qualitative problem because here the synthesis uh, synthesis in a incorrectly functioning globulin okay because um, they are in case of the sickle cell anemia what you are doing is you are changing the amino acid residue uh, like glutamic acid to valine so that's why whatever globulin is forming that is um, like uh, um, not uh, proper uh, like uh, this is the incorrectly uh, functioning uh, protein you are um, making there but in case of the thalassemia the um, protein is correctly making but the number is very low so it is the quantitative problem and here it is the qualitative problem okay and uh, there is two type of thalassemia one is the alpha thalassemia and second one is the beta thalassemia okay so um, alpha thalassemia occur in the alpha globulin chain and beta thalassemia uh, is uh, occur in the beta globulin chain okay it is controlled by two closely linked gene that is the hb1 um, hba1 and hba2 on the chromosome number 16 uh, of each parent okay and it is occur on the chromosome number 11 okay the more genes affected the less alpha globulin molecule will be produced and mutation of one or both the genes cause the disease okay so it is directly proportional uh, to the gene affected but here um, uh, mutation if if it is like uh, beta thalassemia will occur like if one of the gene will be mutated then beta thalassemia can occur okay so the second type of disorder is the chromosomal disorder which is a type of genetic disorder caused due to the change in one or many chromosome or um, as we earlier discussed like if uh, the complete chromosome uh, taking into consideration and the arrangement happens in the chromosomal level then it is called as the chromosomal disorder okay so the example of the chromosomal disorder is the down syndrome okay so this syndrome is tip, uh, type of the trisomy as there is an extra copy of the chromosome number 28 one okay so in the 21 there is trisomy means extra x will come here okay so that is the down syndrome just remember the chromosome number means in exam point of view it can be asked like in down syndrome um, which chromosome is affected so that is the chromosome number 21 in 21 there is down syndrome because here extra copy of the chromosome is um, found okay so extra x chromosome will come here okay then second one is the clean filter syndrome so this genetic disorder arises due to the presence of an additional x chromosome in male okay thus resulting in a chromosome count of uh, 47 instead of the 46 okay so it is uh, like um, it uh, it is showing uh, saying that in the uh, sex chromosome level there is a extra x chromosome whereas in case of uh, here it is the autosome uh, chromosome is um, increasing in number but here it is the uh, sex chromosome is increasing number so in male there is uh, there should be like x and y but here instead of x and y here it is the x double x and y okay so uh, on the chromosome uh, like the chromosome number will be um, increased in this case it is the 47 okay then third one is the turner syndrome where uh, like the Klinefelter syndrome in this chromosomal disorder there is a absence of x chromosome in the female okay Klinefelter syndrome occur in the male and turner syndrome occur in the female condition but here in case of female there should be double x right but here one x is absent in case of the um, turner syndrome 
ओके सो दैट्स वाई डिक्रीजिंग द क्रोमोसोम काउंट लाइक इट शुड बी फोर्टी सिक्स इन नंबर बट हियर इन केस ऑफ द टर्न एंड सिंड्रोम इट इज द फोर्टी फाइव ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री टिपिकल क्रोमोसोमल डिसऑर्डर डाउन सिंड्रोम क्लाइन फेल्टर सिंड्रोम एंड टर्नर सिंड्रोम सो डाउन सिंड्रोम अकर इन द क्रोमोसोम नंबर ट्वेंटी वन वेयर वन एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोसोम विल एड इन क्लाइन फेल्टर सिंड्रोम इट इज ऑल्सो लाइक अकर इन इट इज अकर इन द सेक्स क्रोमोसोम ऑफ मेल ओके हियर द एक्स्ट्रा एक्स इज कम and um, in case of turner syndrome it occur in the female and where the one x chromosome will be absent okay so this is the the second question is fabry disease in human is a x linked disease the probability or the percentage for the phenotypically normal father and a carrier mother to have a son with fabry disease is what will be the probability when to um, uh, like uh, one carrier mother will cross with the normal father to have uh, the son with fabry disease what will be the correct answer what is the percentage or what is the probability uh, 0.25 or 25% percent. yes the correct uh, answer will be 25% how come so uh, here it is saying carrier mother right and it is uh, talking about the x linked disease so in x linked disease there will be two x in case of mother and uh, x and y in case of the father okay but here it is saying carrier mother so one gene will be capital f and uh, another uh, gene will be small f okay here in case of it is the normal father so there will be like capital f only okay so when this x will cross with this x then it will give you x f and x f okay and when this x will cross with this x so it will give you uh, capital f and small f right when this uh, x will cross with this y then it will be capital f and y and when this x will cross with this uh, y then it will be small f and y okay so this will uh, these two are the female and this two will be son okay this is the daughter and this is the son phenotype right so in case of the like uh, daughter uh, from the like uh, 100% 50% is uh, um, normal one okay because both the gene is having capital f capital f and 50% will be uh, carrier okay so when you are talking about the daughter okay 50% will be uh, carrier and 50% will be normal one in case of the son uh, like 50% will be uh, normal here this is the normal because here it is having the capital f and here it is having the small f so that's why it is the affected one so 50% will be normal and 50% will be affected but uh, the whole population when you see means from the 50% son when you are seeing uh, which uh, like um, how much uh, son is having the uh, fabry disease so that is the 25% son is having the uh, fabry disease okay because it come uh, it is 1 by 4 right and this is again 1 by 4 Uh, this is one by four condition, and this is one by four condition, right? So that's why it is the twenty five percent. Understood? Or it, this question can be asked like how many um, percentage uh, offspring is having normal condition? That time uh, you can say like fifty percent is having the normal condition. okay because this this is the normal or uh, i can say 2 by 
is having the normal this one is normal and this one is the normal okay so 50% is having the normal condition in this scenario only 25% uh, sun is affected uh, um, in this condition okay here uh, this is the heterozygous condition or this is the carrier condition so we can't uh, consider it as a affected one okay under